you can, sit with your spine erect, your chin parallel to the earth, and breathe. The start of this Kriya, we're going to be charging our heart with energy with breath of fire, which breath of fire is a equal inhale to the exhale through the nose. When we inhale, the navel comes out slightly. When we exhale, we're squeezing back on the diaphragm. So it's a very short breath. A lot of people, it's kind of like when a dog pants. In fact, a good way to start it is panting like a dog. <laughs> but really, we're just squeezing in on the diaphragm, exhale, we relax, a little bit of breath comes in. We work on equality. I'll start us at about a second and I'll slowly speed us up. If you start to feel out of whack, just take a deep breath and reset because we're gonna be practicing for about five minutes of it. So if it just starts to feel wrong, take a deep breath and come back to the center. And with any of this, if you need to break, do, because some of these Kriyas are, you know, it may seem like simple movements, but after a couple minutes, it's... <laughs> so let's bring our palms together and rub them. We'll tune in with the Adi Mantra. It's Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Press the base of your thumbs to heart center. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo the breath. Let's find complete stillness in this moment. Exhale. Inhale for the Mangala Charan. An gire name jugan gire name sat gire name sirin guru deve name Angare name, Jugangare name, Satgare name, Sirin Guru Deve name. Angare name, Jugangare name, Satgare name, Sirin Guru Deve name. And exhale. Beautiful. So we're actually going to start standing. I'm just going to bring our hands to Anjali Mudra at the heart center. Close the eyes and take a moment and really bring your awareness to right where the thumbs, base of the thumbs are pressing into your sternum. Full awareness on the breath. Full awareness on the contact between your thumbs and the sternum. We're gonna start breath of fire. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale halfway and begin. Really pump your navel with the breath. Diaphragm expands with the inhale, pulls back with the exhale, and mentally vibrate the mantra Sat and Nam with the breath. Eyes are closed.
Speed it up a little bit if that feels right. Really feel the energy pulling at the heart. If you can't feel it, visualize it as you breathe. Kick it up a little faster if you can. Inhale deep, pause the breath at the top, gauge mole bond, it's your rectum, your sex organs, your navel, just isolate the internal muscles. This helps hydraulically move energy up the spine. Exhale slow, hold the breath out, squeeze. Inhale and relax. Arms down at the sides, palms forward. Relax the shoulders and take a few breaths. Slight bend in the knees, we're not locking them. Slight bend in the elbows. So for this next bit, we're gonna be making fists with our thumbs inside of the fists, arms are at our sides, and very rapid breath with breath of fire. We're gonna be punching one arm at a time, just inhaling, exhaling as we go out, inhaling back. Breath is powerful. Now as you draw back, draw your elbow back past your back. Really feel it open your heart, open the front of your chest.
Almost there. Really power your breath for this last bit. Inhale. Exhale, relax the arms down again. Just take a few breaths. Just feel your body. Feel the pulsation of your heart on a physical level. See if you can feel that pulsation throughout your center from the navel to the throat. Just visualize a subtle energetic movement from your root to your crown, from your crown to your root. Very balanced, gentle movement of energy. For this next bit, we're going to do Hadradaya Mudra. So take your index finger and pull it into the base of your thumb, which you guys encountered this first time we met. And then your um, middle two fingers against your thumb tip, your pinky stays extended. And we're just going to breathe and make big arm circles. Really feel as you go back. The heart is opening, the back of the heart compresses. If you slow it down, see if you can feel yourself gathering energy on the down swoop and bringing it up as you go up and back. Eyes are closed throughout this practice. This helps us go inward and develop the subtle awareness of our body our energetic body, our physical body. We start to notice things faster, feel. Which I'm adding this mudra to this movement because it is said to charge the heart. Almost off of our feet. Just one more minute. Really power your breath, make it audible. Last 15 seconds. Inhale and exhale, relax the arms down, shake them out. And we can come back down to sit. Next bit, we're going to bring our interlace our fingers and our thumb tips are going to touch. We want to try to keep our spine erect here if possible. And we're essentially going to be trying to move energy from our navel to our heart. So this is this lower triangle is where most of our nervous energy comes from. Base. Yeah, well, it's um, from the solar plexus, your uh, navel chakra, and then your perineum. Like there's as many nerves here as there is here. You know, we tend to be disconnected between the two and the heart is the middle. So if you look at like Qigong and Tai Chi and them, a lot of their like energetic movement practices, you're doing things from navel to throat. 
So it's interesting now that I've been practicing Qigong, I'm noticing that some of these Kundalini practices, they're doing kind of the exact same thing. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I like finding lines between things. Um, so we're gonna bring our thumbs together and interlace the fingers. Are our palms up or down? Oh, it says they're down, so that works. So we're gonna start down, or actually up, uh, right above our heart, so in between our throat and our heart. The eyes are closed, and as we exhale, we're gonna just move our arm, our hands down to right around the belly button, a couple inches under it, and then inhale, bring it back up to the throat. And just feel the subtle energetic movement. Should be a couple inches between your hands and your chest. Feel the space between your hands and your chest. And just very long, deep breathing. Pretty much as slow as you can manage. Inhaling, going up. Exhaling, going down. Eyes are closed. Awareness is at the movement, the breath, and the subtle aspects of both together. See if you can feel the energy moving from navel to heart and heart to navel and even beyond. It doesn't stop there. Let's do one more. And then bring your hands to your lap, palms up, thumb tips still touching. Just take a few breaths. Feel balanced. Next, we're going to bring our 
hands up to our sides, palms facing forward. And I'm going to do the mantra out loud just so it's easy for you to follow. But as I say sa, you're going to draw your index and thumb tip together. Ta, middle, na, ring, ma, pinky. And as I'm doing this, just see if you can feel the mantra coming from your heart. Just really visualize your heart and do the mudra. So it's sa, ta, na, ma. I'm going to chant it out loud. You all just chant it mentally. So pulse it from your mind and see if you can pulse it to your heart. A lot of the times when you do this, you're focusing on your crown or your third eye, but in this practice, we're actually focusing on the heart. So eyes are closed, arms up to the side, palms. If your arms get really tired, you can bring them down to your knees, of course. Modify however you need. Let's inhale. Sata Nama 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 Sata up on your root lock. It's like you're stopping gas, holding in your urine, squeezing under the belly button. Let's see if you can see the energy moving up, 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 and then back down for balance. And exhale, relax, palms up on the knees, take a few breaths, eyes stay closed. Index finger and thumb tip touch.
next we're going to come to Nasagata Mudra, which is the two fingers at the third eye. We're just going to close the right nostril and we're going to be breathing in very slowly through the left nostril and then very slowly out of the mouth through round of mouth lips. So it's just a, as slow as you can manage inhale through the left nostril and then a very slow exhale through just a, almost like you're trying to blow bubbles with the gum or something. So it's a very, very subtle breath. The left nostril is relaxation. Let's begin, inhale. Just the slowest breath you can manage, full from navel to throat. Keep that breath deep, really feeling your diaphragm expand, your chest lift. And as you exhale, the chest falls, the diaphragm contracts. Just let your breath be natural. Don't force anything. Just breathe and notice. Breath is through the nose. It doesn't have to be deep, slow. Just let it be.
release your hand. It's completely relax. Just let go of all thoughts. Relax your muscles. Your breath stays completely relaxed. Your feet and legs are relaxed. Your hips are soft. Your spine is soft and relaxed. Your navel center is completely relaxed. Your chest is soft. Shoulders relaxed. Your neck is completely relaxed. Your face relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed. Your whole body is completely relaxed. to your breath. Let it become a bit deeper, more intentional. Invite some micro movements into the body. Maybe rock your head side to side, forward and back. It's very small. Next, we're going to do a meditation called Balancing the Mind and Heart Unto Infinity, which I practiced this once, <laughs> but it's a relatively um, easy meditation. 
Can you all whistle? <laughs> Whistling's great. It's one of those things. It's really hard not to smile when you're whistling, and it's almost impossible to frown while you're whistling, so. I've really tried. <laughs> so we're gonna lock our thumbs into our armpit, right? And your hands, your fingers will naturally go wherever they go comfortably. That's okay. And we're gonna be inhaling to a whistle and we're gonna vibrate the word so as we're inhaling mentally. So we're just gonna inhale whistling like and just vibrate the word so in our heads. So to be like a so, just match it to the tone of the whistle, however it happens. And as we exhale, it's going to be through the nose and the mantra will be hung, which so hung means I am thou. So we're essentially just saying I am, which you'll hear all the time in meditation, which is sort of an act of surrender. It's not I am anything, it's just the fact I'm here. What's up? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's gonna be inhale with the whistle, vibrating so, and exhale hung. And we will be doing this for seven minutes today. I don't know where that accent comes from, but it comes out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's close the eyes and then open them barely and look towards the tip of your nose. This is one-tenth open, looking towards the tip of the nose. Let's go ahead and take one breath together through the nose. Inhale deep. Exhale and we'll begin. Find your own pace, it doesn't have to match me. If you can't whistle inhaling, just act like you are, it's okay. As we inhale, we're vibrating so, as we exhale, hung.
That's one more. Inhale through the nose. Pause the breath at the top. Engage up on wall bond. It's the rectum, sex organs, navel. Visualize energy moving up, up, up. Up the spine, swirling around and back down. And exhale, relax. Relax the hands. Maybe shake them out if you need. Just a few breaths. Really sit with your current state. If things have come up, accept them. We work to merge with ourself. Surrender to our path. Accept the things in our life and in ourselves that may be unpleasant so we can work through them and walk with grace through our days. your palms together and rub them. We'll end with three long satnams and a powerful om. Face your thumbs to heart center. Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale. Satnam. Secure with our openness. May we have a deep level of self compassion and care so we can always find what we need when we need it and walk our paths. Thank you for joining me today. Satnam. <laughs>